if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoidal steady state analysis question compute v1 and v2 in the circuit of figure here for this circuit we have to find this v1 and v2 by using nodal analysis as we can see this is an example on super node first of all we will take this circuit from here now let's say this is current i1 first of all let's say this is the reference node because we are assuming all the currents towards this reference node so this is current i1 and this is current i2 this is current i3 and this is current i4 and here this forms a super node so from here to here this is the super node now what we will do we will apply kcl at this super node apply kcl that is kirchhoff's current law at super node now according to kcl kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here at this node the entering current is this i1 so i1 is the entering current is equal to now the leaving current is i2 i3 and i4 these are the leaving current i2 i3 and i4 now we will write this i1 i2 i3 and i4 in voltage form so it will be this 75 minus v1 divided by 4 75 minus v1 divided by 4 is equal to now this i2 will be this i2 will be v1 minus 0 divided by j4 v1 minus 0 divided by j4 then plus i3 now this i3 will be v2 minus 0 v2 minus 0 divided by minus j1 minus j1 then plus i4 now this i4 will be v2 minus 0 v2 minus 0 divided by this 2 now let's simplify this so it will be 75 divided by 4 minus v1 divided by 4 is equal to or if we take this on this side so it will be or we will take this minus v1 by 4 on right side so it will be plus so here we can directly write it like this then plus v1 by j4 plus v2 by v2 by minus j1 then plus v2 by 2 v2 by 2 now here we can take this v1 common so 75 divided by 4 is equal to v1 in bracket 1 by 4 plus 1 by j4 plus v2 in bracket 1 by minus j1 plus 1 by 2 now let's say this is the equation number 1 next we will solve this super node so for super node here we can see this will be v1 minus v2 divided by v1 minus v2 is equal to 100 at an angle 60 degree v1 minus v2 is equal to 100 at an angle 
60 degree now let's say this is equation number 2 so from equation number 2 you can find the value of this v1 so v1 is equal to 100 at an angle 60 degree if we take this v2 on right side so it will be plus v2 now we can substitute this v1 here so put v1 in equation 1. So, this will be 75 divided by 4 is equal to now in place of V1 we will substitute 100 at an angle 60 degree plus V2. 100 at an angle 60 degree plus V2. Then in bracket 1 by 4 plus 1 by J4. 1 by 4 plus 1 by J4 plus V2 in bracket this value we will directly copy it from here now let us simplify this and find the value of V2 so, this will be 75 divided by 4 is equal to now this will be multiplied with this value. So, 100 at an angle 60 degree into 1 by 4 plus 1 by J4 then plus V2 in bracket 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by J4 plus V2 in bracket 1 by minus j1 plus 1 by 2. Now here we can take this on left side. So 75 by 4, 75 by 4 then minus we can take this on left side. is equal to we can take this v2 common from here so this will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by j4 then plus plus 1 by minus j1 plus 1 by 2 now let us simplify this 75 divided by 4 minus 100 at an angle 60 degree multiplied with 1 by 4 plus 1 by j into 4. So, it is minus 15.4 minus 15.4 minus 9.15 j minus 15.4 minus 9.15 j is equal to v2 in bracket now this will be 1 by 4 plus 1 by j into 4 plus 1 by minus j into 1 plus 1 by 2. So, it is equal to 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 by 2 j. Now, we can find the value of v2. So, v2 is equal to minus 15.4 minus 9.15 j minus 15.4 minus 9.15 j divided by 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 j 
j so if we simplify this we will get the value of v2 minus 15.4 minus 9.15 into j divided by 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 into j so it is equal to this value we can convert this rectangular form to polar form so shift 2 3 it is 16.88 16.88 at an angle 165.71 degree and since it is a voltage so its unit will be volts so this is the value of v2 now we can easily find the value of v1 so here if we substitute this v2 here so v1 is equal to 100 at an angle 60 degree plus v2 value is 16.88 at an angle 165.71 degree so v1 is equal to 100 at an angle 60 plus 16.88 at an angle 165.71 so it is this much we can convert this rectangular to polar form shift 2 3 96.80 at an angle 69.66 degree volt so this is the value of v1 and this is the value of v2 so what we have to find in this problem we have to find the value of v1 and v2 so this is how we can find v1 and v2 by using nodal analysis don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching.